So today um, I'm working on a Power BI model that I need to change because I've been in and spent the day with a customer and there's some quite complex business logic that needs to be applied. Um, and whilst I'm working on this particular report, um, it, it occurred to me that I wanted to show you, um, it, it's quite a, a straightforward um, feature within Tabular Editor. Um, but when I, when I was explaining DAX Debugger to some friends, um, they hadn't seen this. So um, this is all about table preview data. I've opened up Contoso Lite using the load model from um, the local instance and loaded up Contoso Lite. And you can see here, I've got all of the tables in my um, tabular model. If you click on customer, and you can see it brings up various details about um, the customer table. If you right click, you get preview data. Now preview data gives you the table, um, and, and you can have as many as you like loaded. So you can just preview data and they sit in, in one tab next to each other. Now, if you're, so if I just, um, and what you can do is you can just place them wherever you want them to be, sort of drag and drop and place them. And what I like to do is if I'm writing um, DAX, I want to see the table and I want to see the data and it really helps me understand you know, my DAX and what, what measure I should create. And if I click on here, and if we open up, um, I don't know, uh, top end sales, or we use this one, it's a little bit more complex. Um, but what, what we can see is we can look at, cus we've got our customer table, but we've also got our sales table here. So I might say, well, actually, I, I really want to look at sales. So I bring my sales here. And if I've got the date time 18th of May 2027, then what I can do is um, I can then filter this on the date time. And you think, well, actually, is that date time, is that my order date or my delivery date? And you can go into here, see here, new diagram. You can click on new diagram. And if I pull that in, it'll pull my table in. And then I can add all related tables. So it will tell me that my main sales with my date, um, and you can drag and move it around. The one with the active relationship is this one. So it's my order date. So I can see it's my order date there. And actually the other place you can do it, which is even simpler, is here. So you've got your data sources, perspectives, relationships. If you open up the relationships, you can see that the order date is got a many to one with the date. So um, there are two ways that, that you can find out which relationship it is. So we know the date is the 18th of May and it's the order date. Um, you can, you can um, sort and you can filter. And actually, this is so much quicker. I'm working in data flows at the moment, and it's much quicker to look here. And it gives me all of the information that I need very, very quickly of, of what's stored in the model. So if I go to the custom filter, and what I want is that I want to see on my sales table, because I want to check my measure, 18th of May, and I want it for 2017. So if I press OK, and you'll see it orders, um, it creates a filter for me so I can check and I can see. And I might think, right, OK, well, let me just let me just validate and check what the results are. So if I do a pivot grid, I can pop a pivot grid in and then I can put my top end sales. And then um, we want to know maybe which store it is. So if we click on the store, we can find out um, the store. So country and online. So we've got online is 237. So I want to know which is the, um, what's the number? Because if I look in my sales, I've got a store key. So what we can do is we can just say, right, let me just quickly look at this table and I could filter by online. Say online 
is 9999, which is the store key. So if I then go back to my sales table and go to my store key and my numeric filter, so you can see how you can just type it in and three, four, five, six, close. So that gives me my store key. And then I want to find out if I look at my measure and my measure here, sales, it, it loses it. So you have to keep putting it back again. Um, it's the line amount. And if I look at my pivot grid, it should be 237.592. And you can actually pop the pivot grid, which I quite like. I like having all three of them on the side. So I've got my tables and my pivot grid and my measures. And if I'm being really pedantic, I like the pivot grid next to it. So we can say online 237. So this is our sales table. And we've got our our price there. So when we look at online, online is 237.592, which is the top sales on the 18th of May. But when we actually look at our, uh, our measure, which is quantity times net price, we can see that the 237.592 is actually, there's only one of them, and that's the price. Whereas all the others are actually more. So um, the top N, and this is where it's really useful, where you can drill down into so, so much detail. It's an ascending order, so it's actually giving us the lowest value on that particular day. And what we can also do um, is we can pull in, if, if we wanted to, we can pull in a DAX query to actually um, show that as well. So I've clicked on here and clicked on DAX query and I've cheated a little bit because I, I did the table in Power BI, but I've got a variable which is treating um, online as the filter for store country, which is exactly what we've got here. I've got 18th of May as the date and then I'm summarizing the columns to get my country, quantity, year and net price. And so if I then press F5, when I click in here and press F5, it gives me the table here, which you can see that actually that the, the one that's the highest value on that particular day is um, this. So if I then click on my expression editor and see where it's, it's doing it by um, ascending, it, what it should be doing is by descending rather than ascending because ascending is from one one to the highest number whereas descending is is going down but is actually top so now if we then press tick yep and you'll see it's made structural changes so if you press save then you will see that this online version changes to the 7195 which you can see here is the top sales on that day. So by using a table, we're able to, um, when, when you save back to the current database, it loses its filters, but we're able to filter our table and we can see exactly what's happening with each of the tables of our data. We've got a pivot grid, which shows us a summarized version. We've got our expression editor, which then shows us exactly how the DAX is being worked out. And we can even write DAX queries, which will visualize the table to show us the table amount. And whilst I've got all of these on one screen um, for the sake of this video, what you can do is you can pop them all over your screen. So if you've got big double screens like I've got, you can, you can see everything and it just gives you um, complete visualization of, of the data and the tables and how you're manipulating them and how you're changing them. So I really, really like this, this preview data uh, table, which allows you to, to, to filter and to see and to actually see what's happening. Because at the end of the day, what we're doing is we're, we're, we're filtering tables, we're looking at the row context, we're grouping, and, and this gives you the ability to do that. So I, I hope you found this useful.